Wondering when you might use the wait step in a step-by-step -step command? When building advanced step-by-step -step commands, Dragon will move through the steps promptly, regardless of what the EHR software is doing in the background. Occasionally, Dragon may speed through these steps too swiftly, causing a command to halt prematurely. This is because we need to tell Dragon to wait or slow down, so the EHR software can catch up. For instance, while creating a multi-step command to change the expected date of my labs to three months, I encountered instances where my EHR would initiate a new window or activity, and that typically required a brief moment to fully load before I could execute my subsequent keyboard shortcut. These moments are where I add a wait step to my command. For example, I inserted a 500 millisecond wait to permit my EHR to initiate the edit multiple window. Wait commands are commonly essential when the EHR transitions between activities, opens new windows, or necessitates time to locate information post-search. For example, I needed a wait when using my Otter AM Lab command to allow Epic time to open the Otter activity before searching for my Otter panel in an inpatient chart. Similarly, after inputting my Cerner auto text name, I typically incorporate a wait allowing Cerner the time to identify my phrase before Dragon presses enter to insert it into my note. You may question why I'm not utilizing the wait for window step. Identifying the appropriate window in Citrix based applications can be difficult and result in inappropriate wait times. So simple wait steps are used rather than the wait for window for consistency. Thanks for watching and stay tuned as we bring you more Dragon tips and tricks.